Hello everyone, what is up gamers? My name is Priyam, welcome to a brand new video and this is gonna be about cloud PCs. Now what you see right here is a cloud PC on which I can do literally anything and control it from any device from anywhere. This video is also gonna be the answer of how I do one of these 24x7 live streams on my other channel called Time Night which basically just shows a countdown. And the best part is that you are going to get all of this for absolutely free but just for 2 months. Now speaking of free, I want to thank Salad for sponsoring today's video. Now Salad is a passive income app that allows all of us gamers to get rewards such as Discord Nitro, Steam games and a lot of stuff. This is done through crypto mining which might make you think, oh is it really safe? Well yes it is, you can check out their Trustpilot reviews or inspect their code on GitHub. Now this is how much a friend of mine has made in the past couple of weeks. All that by literally just letting Salad run in the background while he's not gaming. And also by using my code PRI which is gonna double your income for quite some time. So if you're ready to make the most out of your PC, go to the link in the description, download Salad, Install it and while signing up use my code PRI to make double the income once again. Now hit start, go to sleep and see how long does it take you to get Discord Nitro or if you can wait longer. Resident Evil 8 Village Steam Key. Fun fact, I was even using Salad when I was not sponsored by them. Cause they also have a really good referral system that can allow you to refer to your friends and make some earnings with that as well. So what the heck are you waiting for? Just go to the link in the description and download Salad now. So back to the video now, I'm gonna show you how to get this cloud PC thing for yourself. Let's get started. Alright folks, so firstly go over to the link in the description and you will be on this page. Right here, click on this message. This one. Okay, very interesting. Let's complete this bot check thing. So once that is done, you should see this message right here that's gonna tell you you're going to get a $100 credit good for 60 days when you create a new account. So make sure that you see that message once you do sign up with anything that you see here. I'm gonna use my Google account but you can use anything. Alright, so that was pretty quick and this is where you have to choose your payment method, either a credit card or a PayPal account. I'm gonna use my PayPal account in this case, but you can use a credit card. Alright guys, so as you can see right here, we have successfully got ourselves $100 credits for absolutely free. And here's the catch, you will have to utilize or make the most use of this $100 in the 60 day period or it's gonna be of no use. So what we are gonna do right here is we are gonna deploy a virtual machine. And also guys, also make sure that you cancel this on the last day. I'll tell you how to in just a second. Okay, so once you're on this page, choose something that is closest to $50. If you have some idea, do it yourself, but I recommend choosing this one, which is pre-chosen for me, that is very good. And right here, just make sure that you are using the 20.04 version of Ubuntu. Now scroll down further and this is also very interesting. You are gonna have to choose your own data center region. And right here, I'm gonna choose Bangalore because I live in India, I want the closest server to me, like closest cloud PC to me. But you can choose anything that you want to, like if, if you want a cloud PC based in uh, US, then you can totally use New York. But for me, I'm gonna use Bangalore. Now scroll down further, you don't have to check any of these. But right here, you have to create a SSH password. Uh, a root password which is something that we are gonna need later so just create a good password i'm gonna let the generator make a password for me but you can totally use anything in the bottom make sure that you only have one droplet and right here just name it anything that you want to like i'll just call it pre cloud pc2 because i already have one on my other account and there we go let's create a droplet right now and that right there has started creating a droplet for me which programming language, what the heck? Alright, so once the progress bar has finished up, it's indicating that it's done now, the server is ready. So now what you have to do is just click right here and now go to uh, recovery right here and then choose this option, boot from recovery ISO. Select that, it's gonna take a second, give it that time. And now once you'll, uh, once you'll see this message, just close it and now turn off the droplet and turn it on again. Once done, just go to console, click right there and this is going to open up. Just give it like 50 seconds or something. Okay, it didn't took that long. And now right here, it will show these options. What you'll have to do is just press six and then hit enter. Once here, just copy and paste the command from the description and now press enter once again. Okay, so this is going to take quite some time based on where your droplet is. If it is in the US, then maybe it's gonna be a bit faster, but in India, it's gonna be a bit slower because of these server issues. And by the way, if, if you want to turn off your PC or something, you can totally do that. You can close this window. And once you want to continue, just come back right here and click on console. It's gonna continue right where you left. 
So now just close the console, go right here in the recovery option and select boot from hard drive this time. It's gonna take a second once again. Once done, just close this message right here and restart the whole droplet thing once again. Just turn it off and then turn it on. So that seems to be done. Let's now go back to console and this should boot Windows right away. Okay, so as you can see right here, this is actually a Windows, um, a Windows PC running and we can control it right from the console. And it's gonna be a bit of a hassle because the mouse controls are really, really weird here. So once we have set up Windows, uh, we can set up something like TeamViewer or whatever you use for normal remote desktop stuff. So uh, right here, just click once again, and then it's gonna ask you a password to sign in because there's a user made on this, uh, predefined user. So the password for that, is gonna be okay so it's gonna be p at the rate s s w o r d 64 and then now just hit enter and here we go we've got ourselves a remote pc uh, running on a cloud server for 60 days for absolutely free it's it's gonna be free for 60 days and you can do anything on it now the only main issue that we have right here is that there is no internet access as you can see on the bottom right corner. So what to do about it? Firstly, drag your mouse somehow to that option. I'm just gonna try my best. Oh my God. And right click. Oh my, that's not working. And then go to network, uh, open network and sharing center. And once this opens up, select either one of these, like I'm gonna select e ethernet two, right click and then go to properties. I know this is gonna be really annoying, but once again, it's only a one-time thing. And now once you're here, scroll down and find, no, you don't scroll down. You can see right here, internet protocol version four, just click, double click on that. And now choose, use the following IP address and then start typing the IP address that you have right here. So in my case, it's 134.209.210.210. And then the subnet mask is gonna be 255. 255 okay that's correct but the third one should be matching this one so it should be 240 in this case same goes with default gateway just enter what you see down there 208.1 okay so press 8 and then space 8 space 8 and space 8 and in the alternate dns server 8844 and once you do all of this hit enter now do okay right here and it's gonna identify it for you so just give it a while and there you go it's gonna tell you this press yes i mean choose yes and then go to your browser and oh my god it's literally 3 gbps which is insane so now let's get rid of this super annoying mouse control and install team viewer on this thing you can install any desk whatever you use i just prefer team viewer because it's just more convenient to use on phone as well. So let's search for team viewer and then hit download for free. Save this right here and now hit run. Just keep doing next. I want to use the free version for personal use. Okay, so now just go to start menu. Well, it automatically opened up. Now just copy the ID. Uh, let me just close this thing. So now just copy this ID and password and paste it on your actual PC or wherever you want to control this from. I'm gonna do this on my actual PC right now, but you can also do it from a phone. So now I'll just enter those details right here. Okay, so it's 2687315222. Connect. And now just enter the password that you see right there. P5BH8S3Y. Okay, so it, it was authenticating and we have successfully connected, I believe. Give it a few more seconds. And as you can see right here, we have successfully connected to our cloud PC. It's not gonna have that annoying mouse thing anymore because we are using TeamViewer and you can do a hell lot of things now. You can uh, firstly change the resolution because I don't really like this. It's very small. So let's make it full HD real quick. Let's select 1920 by 1080, apply that and it's gonna look a lot better. Keep changes and take a look at our task manager for once so that we can see how much, uh, what's the specs of this cloud PC. I mean, confirm it basically. And as you can see right here, we have 
this AMD processor that, that has 2 GHz speed. Not bad. Memory is 8 GB and uh, some basic stuff. So it is exactly how it was in the droplet section. And I think getting this for free, even for even if for two months, is really nice. And this doesn't have any GPU. But what you can do is, uh, if you want to do a 24x7 live stream, you can just search for OBS, download it, and use it if you want to. Because um, this is how I've been live streaming on that Time Night channel. And just to mention, make sure that you change your user details right here. Just go to account, change account settings and change this whole thing. This is the default, change your password, username. I would highly recommend it. And also guys, if you're gonna use TeamViewer, I recommend creating an account instead of using this ID password thing all over again. Cause you, if you sign in with an account, you can just uh, set a name for it and then just click and get access to this PC anytime that you want. You don't have to enter password every time so make sure that you do that lastly here's one very important thing unless you cancel this subscription this trial you are going to get charged on the 60th day so make sure that you cancel the subscription at the last day or maybe even before that once you do not need it you can also continue paying if you wish to but i recommend canceling it on the day it ends so make sure that you go to your calendar and mark the day for example, if today was August 30th, I would go to the calendar and mark October 25th so that I can cancel it at the right time because it's not gonna remind you of it. So once it is that date, come back right here, come back onto this page, digitalocean.com, sign in with your account. And now once you're here, click on the server thing, the droplet that you have made, go here to destroy option and now just destroy this droplet. What this is going to do is that it will cancel the subscription even though the payment information is going to stay in your billing section, it's not going to charge you for anything. So as long as you have no droplets, you're not going to get charged for anything. So make sure that you destroy it if you don't need it. I mean, if you want to keep using it, you don't really have to cancel it then. Now, one thing that I forgot to mention is that if you wish to play an audio on this PC, for example, if you want to do music live streams or something, you need to install what is called a virtual cable. I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Make sure to drop a like if you still have not subscribed to the channel and I will see you all in the next one.